Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Power Drill AI, the best AI tool for data analytics. And right now, I'm currently inside the website itself. By the way guys, I have just used a dummy Google account to fully utilize this one. Now before we get started, let's talk about the pricing. And right now, I'm currently using the free plan. This is the basic, the plus, and the pro. You have coupons, the usage right here. For the zero plan, the current usage information for monthly recorded will be recent in July 1. Basically with this one, you will have a lot of features even if you're just using the free plan. So the user interface right here has been changed. Before it looks like you just have uploaded something on this feature right here. But right now, you can just simply uptouch a file and you can drop your files here. Maybe Excel, SQL, or even PNG or JPEG, even PDF. You can upload images, upload audio, and then you can ask anything here. Think of it as chat GPT, but powerful. And this is the option where you can click on advanced analytics, translate or text to speech. Speaking of text to speech, you can change your language on the options on the settings. So the settings should be right here. As you can see right there, you can choose your language. This is the assistant. You can simply hide it or unhide it. By the way, guys, you can create data sets or existing data sets here. And now let's talk about having our own data sets. By the way, I have an Excel file here that we can utilize for this discussion. As you can see, this is a lot of data. Now let me just apply that data set or the Excel file. So I'm going to create data set here. Choose file. Choose that one right there. And now currently it's reading it up. So all files uploaded. And with this one's currently syncing our data sources or data sources. You can specify which data you choose or data sources to use in the chat. For example, on this one, make sure you use this one since that's going to be our Excel file. Now, as you can see right here, no description, you can specify one dataset setting page. Perfect. After suggesting or uploading our data sheet, if you click on the three dots right here, you can rename this one. For example, let's just rename something here. Let's try renaming it one more time. I must click something. So with this, I'm going to type in sample file, click done, and we have sample file right there. And now for the upload, for example, you want to upload your questions, but there are already pre-made sections here or questions. So how many rows does the document contain? Let's ask the first question here. So you know, analyze, search, respond, and finish. So the document contains 4 to 6 rows without even opening the document. I can ask anything here. So let's try a bit more advanced. So based on the information, would it possible provide some relevant inquiries? So we're now creating questions based on our document. So we have 10 questions here right now. So let's try asking the questions Power Drill made himself or itself. So are there any tests that overdue based on their end dates and current progress? So I'm going to ask this question right here. So guys, if you can see here, it's just an AI assistant, basically a smart assistant that really analyze your question, analyze your data sheet, and gives you an exact answer in a professional manner. So as you can see right here, the question I have is, are there any tasks that are overdue based on their end dates and current pages or current progress? So right now, analyze the data to identify tasks that are overdue. This is the pattern code. This is the table. And this is going to be the conclusion, the outline. And now it has been finished generating. So first, we have a Python code to work with. We have a graph. We have an overdue CSV here, which is you can simply download. Now if I click on download right there, I open it up. This is the overdue CSV. Take note, this is a different file which I have from earlier. That means PowerDrill made this file on its own. It really segregated the overdue task. Again, I really want to highlight how powerful that is. So PowerDrill made an entire separate individual Excel file that is entirely only for overdue task. How powerful is that, right? It even surprised me how good it is. Take note, this is a free trial. Now we have an overview. We have key findings. We have overview task details here, social media planning and the works. We have conclusion in here. 
Now, how about let's ask one more question to test the power here. So I have a question prepared for this one. I want to test the limit on how powerful this is, given we only have a free trial. So I'm going to ask to create a bar graph or bar chart. So welcome back to the video. Even though it has not finished fully, we have it real time progress right here. And this is our bar chart. Again, guys, with a simple command to create a bar chart based on the data. Here we have it. Take note, you can change it to line. You can change it to pie. You can change it to a donut. A table right here is pretty awesome. That area is right here also. I think the bar really speaks out to me. Now you can change some things more here, but for now, I'm really amazed on how powerful this is. You can switch to static image. You can switch it up, download it, save chart, add the dashboard, and so much more. Really awesome how powerful this is. We have a conclusion also on this option right there. Now that's going to be via Excel. Let's try a different method here. So I'm going to open a website. This website is about an Israeli education system, an overview. So this is everything how it should look like. Now I'm not going to read everything. I'm going to let PowerGill do its work. So I'm going to copy everything here. Again, copy. Go back on PowerGill. Now we're once back here. Go app on datasets. With this option right here. Add another one. So with this one, I can cancel here. We need to upload a new dataset. So give me a second here. Click new chat. Click new file. And for this one, choose web pages. Enter the link. And simply click on finish. Now right now, it's currently synchronizing. But with while waiting, I want to highlight that this is powered by 3.5 chat GPT Turbo. Or you can upgrade to GBT Pro if you have the Pro version. You can change the model temperature to meticulous to creative. Response in different languages, but for now, I'm on auto. And by the way, guys, it has fully uploaded. So these are the questions regarding the document. So let's ask the first one. So how was the teaching profession Arab education changed in recent years? Basically, it's now researching, analyzing, and responding based on one website link. I want to highlight, I did not type anything. I did not do anything. I just copied the website link and then asked the questions. Pretty awesome, right? So for example, let's ask some more one last time here. For what factors have contributed in the increase of feminization rates in the teaching profession in Arab education? Again, guys, this is pretty powerful. One more thing, you have sources here. If you click on the sources, you can check them right here. Pretty awesome. You can locate the answer right there. And it is a all-in-one package for data analytics. So here is the answer from earlier. What I love about PowerJewel, it helps me build up or create questions that I myself might not think of it before. So these are the questions and leaning with your answer to give you a better understanding on how this works. Pretty awesome. So we've done Excel files. We've done some web pages. Let's try asking it via images. So I think I have an image of my dog here. So right now it has been right here and now ask anything. For example, what is this image or better yet? What this image depicts to be more precise on your question. Click on enter and let's see the power of power drill here with just using an image. Again, guys, let me just open up the image. So we have a reference to be around here. That is an image for mid journey, by the way, minimize it. So the image depicts a French bulldog sitting on a sandy beach with the ocean in the background. The dog appears to be enjoying the beach environment, which waves visible in the distance. Now that is pretty awesome. A little bit more surprising, a little bit more in the scary side because it's really powerful, but that is a pretty exact definition or description regarding my image right here. I love it even give out the style or kind of the dog, which is it? A French bulldog? Pretty awesome. So again, guys, you can try a lot more. For example, go to new chat. You can upload anything, web pages, files, or texts, upload your video, audio, and so much more. Don't limit yourself with what I did earlier. So please try PDF. Please try some more images and some more Excel files. And basically, that's it. That is how you use PowerGirl, a pretty powerful data analytic tool. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. 
please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.